Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. This video is all about who is going to make contact with you on Halloween, okay? So if you just clicked on this video, that is already a sign that someone's going to contact you. But in these piles, we'll go more in depth and see who it is, if they're from your past or from the other side. I can't wait. As usual, here we have four piles, pile one, two, three, and four. So take a moment to pause this video to really see which of these piles you feel the most drawn to. And then once you've decided, you can fast forward to the timestamp in the description box below. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this and start with pile one. Hey group one, my lovely amethyst pile. Let's get into this and see who is going to make contact with you this Halloween. Okay, let's start off with your tarot. We have the nine of swords. By the way, this is the crow tarot. I'm really obsessed with it. <laughs> we have the knight of cups, the king of cups, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Actually, let me straighten the cards a little bit. So, Pile 1. This is someone from your past, okay? We have the Nine of Swords starting out this reading, so... This is definitely someone from your past who probably hurt you or let you down in some way. They're gonna try to make contact with you on Halloween. I'm getting more so that this is a, actually like a physical person as opposed to like a spirit or a spirit guide, okay? So yeah, we have a lot of cups here too. The Knight of Cups, the King of Cups. This person could be a water sign or have prominent water in their chart. I'm seeing that they're gonna be reaching out to you though to try to make an offer of some kind, okay? With the Knight of Cups, this is a card of offering and receptivity. This could be someone who you used to be friends with or they could be a friend of a friend. This isn't someone who you used to be that close to, like you weren't best friends with them or anything, but this person has a strong character, okay? We have the Ace of Swords here, so I get that this person who's going to be trying to make contact with you, like, they'll still be the same person, but it's going to be under a different guise, okay? So maybe they're going to come to you asking for help or trying to reconcile with you in some way under this new premise <laughs> or this new kind of... Uh, backdrop, if that makes sense, but they're still going to be the same person, okay? I can already tell that this person, because they probably hurt you in the past or, I don't know, like, the fact that you're not friends anymore tells me something about this person. So, if they didn't have your best interests in the past, they probably don't right now, but let's get further into this reading to find out why they're trying to make contact with you. Okay, we have coins, abundance, and fire, spontaneity. Ooh. Okay, this person's probably really spontaneous. They might be trying to reach out to you to invite you somewhere to like a party or something like that. We have coins abundance so I think the reason why they're trying to make contact with you is because you're in a really abundant place and they probably want to rekindle some kind of connection with you because they can tell that you're very secure or at least that's how it looks like to them it looks like you are in a very secure happy abundant place so this person might be a bit sneaky in that way. I don't know. There's something about this person in particular that I don't really trust. Even though they do seem really friendly and likable, they do seem like a person that is popular or that makes a lot of friends easily. 
but at the same time, they probably don't keep that many friends for that long. So maybe this person has commitment issues or they just are always on to the next thing before they get around to finishing something. But yeah, this person is gonna um, probably like reach out to you with a very like spontaneous premise. I feel like they're gonna make some kind of excuse or some kind of story to feed you, to get you back into their life. For some of you, this could be an ex, but I don't really feel like you were ever close to this person particularly. I feel like you gave them a chance and they didn't really follow through with it initially. Um, I think they're from your past, but probably not too far back in the past. Like, it's not going to be that surprising to you that this person would reach out to you to begin with, okay? Um, like, that's how close uh, in the past we're talking, okay? So, like, maybe they've reached out to you in the, cu in the last couple months. Like, it's not going to seem that big of a deal to you. That's what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, it's going to be kind of funny with this person. <laughs> okay, for your next cards, we have forgiveness. Okay, yeah, we have forgiveness. It says reducing burden. <laughs> and we have apple, risk and reward. Okay, so they're clearly going to offer you something, probably friendship. Because <laughs> we have the apple. Apples are a strong symbol of, like, friendship, love... And then it makes sense that we have forgiveness with it as well. So they might try to give you a peace offering <laughs> of some sort. The thing is, this person could have genuine intentions about trying to rekindle something with you. But I just feel like because they probably had commitment issues in the past, I don't think they've really dealt with that fully. And it might seem like they're a different person because we have the Ace of Swords and this is an energy of new beginnings and freshness, but there is something that's not really fresh about this person. Like, they're kind of predictable. Despite whatever they say or whatever story they try to sell, it's, it's never like they've turned their life around fully, okay? But I mean, they could have genuine intentions here, honestly, to offer like forgiveness or to try to like um ask for forgiveness perhaps yeah this is a specific message but i think this person plays an instrument because we have the hands here their hands are really prominent <laughs> but the reason why they're obviously trying to reach out to you this halloween or make contact is to ask for something or to offer something or both okay like they'll probably offer you friendship and ask for forgiveness or um i don't know it just feels like this person has their own agenda even if they are trying to be a good friend or they don't have any like bad intentions towards you i don't think this is a mean person they they just get distracted. I don't know if they do this on purpose or not. They just <laughs> aren't the type of person I would trust with my money, you know, <laughs> with the coins here. I think there's a strong message having to do with money and this person. Maybe they'll try to buy you something because I feel like this person isn't really in a position to be making demands of you. So they'll probably try to like offer you some kind of gift or like peace offering okay and then the last cards we have are out of darkness okay yeah out of darkness is a very uh dark energy there's something sh shady about this person okay as i said they might have a hidden and uh, sorry i can't speak a hidden agenda or Maybe they're just involved in some shady dealings. What I really get with this card is that this person isn't out of their own darkness yet. As I said, they haven't really dealt with the main problems uh, that they're going through in their life, so it's kind of hard for them to 
commit to other people and focus on their relationships in general when they still have a lot of inner work to do with this king of cups i don't feel like they're quite in a stable place yet and then we have go fish okay this person i just get that they're funny they're a bit of a trickster maybe they lied to you in the past and that was why your friendship ended or you just didn't really trust them anymore because whenever I see this card come up, I kind of think of someone who can be a bit tricky to deal with. But I mean that more so in terms of them trying to bullshit you or trick you into doing something, okay? For some of you guys, okay, this is a specific message. For some of you guys, this is a relative who you're not particularly close to, who is kind of interested in what you're doing and, and wants to reach out, to get you to, um, to get to know you better, okay? But yeah, I think for most of you, this is an old friend. <laughs> they're gonna be asking for your forgiveness or they're gonna show up with something to offer you, whether that's a physical gift or an offer of friendship of some sort. The strongest message is that this person's showing up to make you an offer, maybe a better deal than they last gave you. Um, but another strong message is that they haven't really changed and it's going to be quite spontaneous. You're not really going to be surprised when this person does show up on your doorstep, but it will be really random and out of the ordinary, okay? So the last thing I'm going to do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute info. Okay, so we have 7th house, Uranus, and Pisces. Yes, this person has strong water energy. Maybe they're Pisces <laughs> or they just have strong water in their chart. Pisces is also an energy of fantasy, imagination. This person is a bit wish-washy. They can be all over the place. That's how it feels with their life. Like, we also have Uranus here, and Uranus is the planet of unpredictability and upheaval, okay? So this person has a kind of disruptive energy. And then we have seventh house. The seventh house is the house of relationships, so they're most likely going to try to rekindle some kind of connection with you, make some kind of peace offering, or make any offering, honestly. Um... I feel like this person has nothing to lose and they're just like, why not? Why not go for it? <laughs> so yeah, very spontaneous, but not really surprising. And yeah, this person might be a bit sketched too or have a sketch agenda. So yeah, these are the main things I'm receiving for you guys. So I will leave this reading at that for now. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was entertaining. If you did like it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome. Have a happy Halloween. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Hey group two, welcome to your reading for all of you guys who chose this black obsidian. Let's get right into your reading and find out who is going to make contact with you on Halloween. Okay, let's start off with your tarot. We have the four, oh no wait, the six of swords, the page of pentacles, Okay, the Ten of Pentacles, as well as the Fool. Interesting, guys. Wow, okay. All right, there are two very distinct messages that are coming through for you guys. The first is that this person is from the other side, their spirit, most likely an ancestor, maybe like your grandma or someone who is a couple generations removed from you, okay? I get that this is someone who uh, is watching over you. They're, they have a very wise energy. 
I think for most of you guys though who chose this pile this is a spirit guide or an ancestor because we have the six of swords so I think they're from a different realm okay like they're <laughs> from the other side it's a very familiar energy though with this pile strangely because the other message I was gonna say is that this person could actually be a stranger who you meet on Halloween because we have the fool here and the fool is the first card this is all about new beginnings taking risks kind of a leap of faith card so you might meet someone like by chance or yeah like a stranger on Halloween but the weird thing though when I look at these pile um sorry these cards is that it feels really familiar okay this could also um if this is a stranger who you meet it could be someone who you knew from a past life okay this is someone who has a very familiar energy to you but yeah for most of you guys this is gonna be the spirit of an ancestor we have a lot of abundance here we have like the ten of pentacles guys the ten of pentacles the page of pentacles this is a very prosperous time for you guys and whoever the spirit guide is if they are a family member or some ancient ancestor they are really looking out for you i'm getting that this energy is also very protective of you so that's also why i think it's um an ancestor Okay, so your next cards are book, knowledge, okay, and then we also have Wheel of Fortune, fates, yeah, okay. This is going to be a faded meeting or contact that you make with this spirit or this actual person. There's going to be a lot of synchronicities happening for you guys on Halloween having to do with this contact um you might be getting messages through books or you might feel really called to read something in particular that's a strong message for you guys having to do with books this spirit guide um or just the spirit might try to make contact with you through the words in your reading through whatever you're reading right now or um through books in general okay the Wheel of Fortune really makes me think that this is like a stroke of luck. I don't think the spirit, like, even though they have a very familiar energy, if this is an ancestor, I don't think you've ever met them, okay? There's something about this pile where it's like, yeah, it feels familiar, but also at the same time, you've never met this spirit or this stranger, this person um, before, okay? So there is something very new, but also it feels very homely. Like I can smell things baking. Again, it feels like a grandma <laughs> or someone who is an ancestor of yours, okay? It's very comforting. Okay. So for your next cards, ooh, we have Lady de los Muertos, Acceptance and Equality. Yeah, and then we have... Um, Barm Brock, sweetness and synergy. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what I'm talking about. The scent of like things baking. This is definitely an ancestor of yours who's trying to make contact with you on Halloween through like what you're reading. You might smell certain things that bring back memories of your past, bring, take you back to a different time perhaps. You might visit a place as well that you've never visited before that brings back memories for you for like no reason. There's going to be a lot of unexplained things that happen for you guys this Halloween. That's a specific message. This feels like a very feminine uh, spirit. That's also why I was thinking grandma. Like we have Lady de los Muertos here. Um, but also if you do happen to meet a stranger on Halloween it will probably be a woman. Like, I'm getting a wise, older, feminine energy, like the crone, okay? And I think this spirit is trying to make contact with you to pass down a memory or possibly to help you accept something because we do have uh, a 
acceptance and equality on this card. So maybe some of you guys haven't been spending as much time with your family or connecting to your family's energy and heritage. I think a strong message for you guys this Halloween is to relax and enjoy the fruits of your hard work, but also to just receive. Like, even if you guys don't feel like you deserve it, just allow people to treat you, okay? I feel like there's a lot of abundance that's going to be coming in, and especially from this spirit. Like, they want you to have something, whether that's like a precious memory or they want to lead you further down the road of finding these treasures, these hidden treasures in a further abundance, okay? It's a very wholesome pile. Okay, so your last cards are rah rah rah. This might be a Leo. <laughs> very um sunny energy here. And then we have Gypsy Columbine. Interesting. So yeah, if this is someone who you meet, like a stranger, pure stranger, you might have known them in a past life, okay? There's some karma in this pile that still has yet to be resolved, I think. And I don't think it's bad or anything. I think because we have acceptance and equality, there's something that you need to accept about yourself or about your past. And I think this Halloween, the contact that you make with this spirit or with this stranger will help you to realize that, okay? Also, again, we have some strong feminine energy here. This is very like the lioness, the matriarch. Again, this is if this is a family member <laughs> or anyone, honestly, for that fact, who does contact you, they're going to be a woman. It's going to be... A very powerful mature feminine energy here okay very beautiful honestly another strong message that is coming through is that this spirit is a very good spirit okay especially because I think they they know you maybe you don't really know who this spirit is or you have some idea but you're like what it's a very good energy. I can see with all these pentacles and the wheel of fortune, it is faded, but also they want you to really appreciate the richness in your life right now, okay? The sweetness, the synergy. There's a lot of just sweet, comforting energies. And even if you if this is like a stranger again that you meet, it will also be a faded contact in the sense that they'll help you find those little moments of happiness or abundance. Like, I think you guys are going to have a really fun, wholesome Halloween because of these energies that are trying to contact you, okay? So, the last thing I'm going to do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute clues as to who this is. Or why they're trying to contact you. Okay, we have the 12th house, we have Aquarius, and we have Uranus. Interesting, we got Uranus for the last pile too. I think that's because Uranus, honestly, <laughs> is a disruptive energy. It's highly unpredictable. And it's also interesting that we have Aquarius too because Uranus rules Aquarius. So Aquarius is all about freedom, independence, also exploration too. As I was saying earlier, I feel like this contact that you make will, or this Halloween in general, it will bring up experiences for you that you've never done before that allow you to have fun in ways that you've never tried before or that you never allowed yourself to have because we have the fool here and again this is the energy of taking risks newness and also trust there's a lot of trust here i think for you guys that will come out of this and then we have the 12th house the 12th house rules the 
subconscious. It's a very kind of like secretive hidden house of dreams, fantasies. This could also be a ghost, okay? I think for the majority of you guys, as I was saying, this is a spirit, <laughs> but it's a really friendly spirit, okay? They are looking out for you. There is a protective quality to them, but also they want to get you out of your comfort zone. They want you to experience new things, okay? We have like the Wheel of Fortune. This is an energy of change as well. They're showing up to help you make some kind of change. And I think that's also why we have Uranus as well. Uranus is a planet of change and revolution. So they're going to help you switch things up a little bit and discover new things that you didn't even know you liked. Or they might also help you get back in touch with your independent spirit by presenting you with opportunities that allow you to like get out there and explore new places or just have like new experiences here okay that's a strong message for you guys so yeah these are the main things i'm receiving for you guys so i will leave it at that for now the energies in this pile were a bit more elusive but i think that's because we're dealing with a spirit here as opposed to the last pile which is definitely a person um but yeah, I thought I should just mention that for you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome. Have a happy Halloween. And I will see you guys later. Hey group four, welcome to your reading, all of you who chose this beautiful carnelian. Ooh, I love this crystal. Let's get straight into your reading and see who is going to make contact with you. Okay, let's start off with your tarot. Ooh, okay, we have the star, the king of swords. The Ace of Cups, as well as Justice. Oh my gosh, Justice. So the first thing I notice with these cards is that there's a lot of air energy, like the stars associated with Aquarius, Justice is Libra, the King of Swords, swords correlate to the element of air. So if this is a person, they might be an air sign. But I think rather, okay, the energy that I get with this, because we have the star here, this is probably a spirit that's going to make contact with you guys. I think it's a spirit guide because we have the star and the star is a card of guidance and truth. And then also we have justice. So I think you guys are going to feel really guided to do something this Halloween. I think the spirit guide is going to be trying to like direct your attention to this ace of cups. In your life I don't know if that is a particular relationship that you have with someone or if it's a new like hobby that you have the ace of cups is is at least for you guys I'm picking up that it's an energy of something that you really love so if it's someone who you love to spend time with or if it's an activity that you love doing the spirit guy is gonna be trying to um, direct your energy more towards it Okay. But yeah, I think for most of you guys who chose this pile, this is probably a spirit guide just because we have all this air here, air energy. And the star is very celestial as well. So this feels like a spirit or a ghost that's going to be trying to reach out to you. But it does feel, well, it doesn't really feel friendly or evil, <laughs> evil, um, it feels like a very neutral energy because we have justice and justice isn't really like one or the other. This is just a spirit that's trying to help you out with some particular uh, thing, okay? Yeah, because we have Saturn. So I feel like the spirit has more so like a job or a specific purpose for reaching out to you. I don't think that 
necess they're necessarily like one of your spirit guides or if you're that connected to them. I feel like this is more of like a one-time encounter or contact that you'll have with the spirit or ghost, okay? Okay. Ooh, we have black cat, good luck, as well as lots, chance. Yeah, this is going to be pure chance that you come across the spirit. Honestly, it's funny because we have good luck and then I saw lots. <laughs> Maybe some of you guys should play the lottery on Halloween. <laughs> no, I don't know if that's a message. This spirit might take the form of an animal that you come across on Halloween. Maybe a cat or a dog. But yeah, I feel maybe like this spirit might take the form of an animal or a person. Like if you do meet someone on Halloween or if someone does make contact with you, an actual person, it will be this spirit that's channeling through that person if that makes sense or through an animal if you come across any of those creatures okay but yeah I feel like the spirit has a, ver a very particular like specific job with you maybe it's karmic we do have justice here they could be trying to tell you something important or give you some advice some information they could also bestow some good luck on you as well. This could be a blessing, um, like, bestowed on you through your hard work, because we do have Saturn here. Okay, here's the type of spirit th that this is. I don't know if any of you guys have seen Spirited Away, but if you have, <laughs> you know that one spirit that goes to the bathhouse that Shihiro takes care of and then he he grants her like that little ball of dirt or something that's supposed to be a gift from the river spirit i think that's what it is well anyways i get the feeling like this particular spirit is kind of like that it's a special spirit that has some kind of special power to bestow on you some good luck or this ace of cups maybe this ace of cups is what it is and it'll be actually that you have, like, by chance, you find something that you've been looking for for a while, or, yeah, like, maybe you'll find something that you forgot about or that you lost for years, even. This is a really interesting pile, but I do think it is a spirit or some kind of uh, ghost that's going to be making contact with you guys. Okay. We have witch. <laughs> it says the earthly wearer of the worlds. And then we have skull of stars. Guys, we have the star and then we have skull of stars. That's really interesting. It says infinite possibilities. This could also be a light spirit too. Interesting. When I saw, okay, actually, you guys, the black cat and the witch card, these are from completely different decks, but they go together because the witch and her familiar right and then when both of them come together both of their powers combine into one superpower interesting okay maybe you'll be reunited with something that you lost whether that's like i don't know i'm just getting like i don't think it's gonna be a lost cat or anything like that but maybe you'll be reunited with someone or with a particular thing that you thought you lost okay this could, the spirit could also, as I said earlier, be channeling through a person who bears some kind of news or gift on you around Halloween, okay? For you guys, I don't know if this is going to be specifically on Halloween, but I get that it's going to be maybe like in the days leading up, there will be some things that don't quite add up for you. Um, I mean that in terms of like experiences that are like unexplained or possibly that seem too good to be true because we have the star and then we have like good luck so yeah but I think it's interesting that we have the skull of stars here too it says infinite possibilities so I think with you guys maybe 
there will be multiple spirits that contact you <laughs> on Halloween. I don't know what it is with this pile, but there's something really like interesting but also weird going on here where I have a feeling like one of these spirits or this main spirit is going to be trying to contact you through the guise of an animal or a person, okay? Um, and they have some special purpose. Like, this is a special spirit we're talking about. This is like, you know, the, that river spirit from Spirited Away, okay? They have some kind of gift or news to bring you. Okay, so for your last cards... <laughs> Okay, yeah, we have Divine Disguise and Guest of Honor. Interesting, Guest of Honor. Okay, maybe this spirit is not one that was, like, invited. I feel like, okay, <laughs> I don't know why, but for this pile, that Spirited Away example is such a strong message because that spirit came into the bathhouse as a muddy mess, okay? It was like not, no one knew that it was actually like a really powerful spirit, okay? So maybe this spirit, right? Or if this is like multiple spirits that you encounter are gonna be disruptive, okay? <laughs> this card makes me think of like a party crasher even though it says guest of honor, in this particular context, I just feel like because this spirit is going to show up by chance and it's not like a familiar energy to you, you will probably not make contact with this energy again, you know? Yeah, like I feel like they have something really important to tell you or to um, bestow upon you, okay? This does also feel like some kind of ghost as well for some of you, but because we have divine disguise, this is clearly um, gonna be a spirit in some kind of disguise. You guys will know, okay? I know when I'm describing all of this, all these messages that I'm getting for you guys, I know it can seem a bit confusing or all at once, but you guys will know, okay? The thing is about this spirit or this energy, this main energy that I'm picking up for this pile is that it doesn't want you to know who it is and it doesn't want you to get too, like, attached to it, okay? We have a lot of air energy and again, air is very untangible. It's hard to, like, pin down. You can't really contain it. So, again, this energy... It's just that. It's like airy, but you'll know it when you see it, okay? Because it's not, there will be something or like a couple things that don't quite add up or that don't make sense to you leading up to Halloween. You'll be like, wait, so-and-so told me blank, but then I'm hearing something else from another person. Like, there will be something like that, okay? Another strong message, as I was saying earlier, is that you guys are going to find something that was lost, whether that's like a physical object or um, maybe it's like a figurative something that you thought you had lost that, that will be coming back to you. Yeah, this is super interesting though, guys. So the last thing I'm going to do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute clues on who this could be and why they're trying to contact you. Okay, so we have Scorpio, <laughs> we have Moon, and Fifth House. Yeah, okay, so we have Scorpio and Moon. Both of these energies, especially combined, are very secretive. <laughs> like the Moon represents hidden things, our emotions, our inner world, right? It's a very private uh, thing that we keep secret most of the time, right? And then same thing with Scorpio. Scorpios, as we all know, are very private. They can be a bit shady, but Scorpios deal with hidden things as well and uh, regeneration, okay? So it's very interesting because as I've been saying, I think many of you guys are going to find something that was hidden or 
like that you thought you lost okay but also because this is a very special spirit and it seems like such a chance but also like exclusive kind of contact that you'll make with them they'll bestow some kind of gift on you okay or bear some kind of news to you we have fifth house here and fifth house is the house of games okay <laughs> so yeah the thing is about these energies is that they're not good or bad they're probably just trying to have fun with you honestly the fifth house is the house of fun games creativity it's also the house of children interestingly maybe the spirit will take the form of a child or you'll have some kind of chance encounter with a child around this time that is very like uh, symbolic to you where the spirit takes the form through the child perhaps there's there's a lot of interesting messages for this pile but yeah i will leave it at that for now the rest is up for you guys to interpret i hope you liked it i hope you found something that resonated if you did like it feel free to give this video a thumbs up comment or subscribe i would really appreciate that and yeah i hope you guys are having a super amazing day stay awesome have a super halloween and i will see you guys later hey group four welcome to your reading for all of you who chose the citrine crystal it's great okay let's get right into your reading and see who is gonna make contact with you on halloween okay we'll start off with your tarot so we have the world the three of swords okay we have the devil and lastly the five of pentacles okay so the first thing that i'm getting is that this is <laughs> sorry i can't speak this is most likely a person not a spirit but an actual person who's gonna be making contact with you i think it's someone from your past okay i'm not gonna lie but it's someone who you literally forgot about okay <laughs> i think with the world you just you've like moved on since this person they have were in your past like your deep past maybe you knew them as a child or maybe they were a teacher as well that's another specific message for you guys is that this person maybe was once your teacher i also am getting another message that like even though they're gonna be um like this is a reading about who's gonna be making contact with you but i feel like with this person maybe you'll find them like unintentionally you'll run into them it seems really random i get that this person is a bit of a loner I think they're an outcast, they probably don't have as many friends, or maybe they're just easily vilified here with the devil, they're easily, you know, seen as an outcast. We have the three of swords here, and this is a card that I can't really escape from when I, I'm looking at these cards, because the three of swords is obviously a card of, like, pain, hurt. Maybe this person is grieving in some way. Or they got out of a nasty relationship, like a breakup. Or perhaps they could be having some major problems with their family. Okay, that's another strong message. This person has a very wise energy. Very Saturn-esque with the devil. This is Capricorn energy we're talking about. So maybe they're a little older than you. This could also be... Okay, for some of you guys, this could be an angel who's trying to make contact with you. But I think for most of you guys, it's going to be an actual person. But I think there are a few of you who this will actually be um, like an angel, specifically, who is trying to make contact with you. Maybe this is you who's experiencing the Three of Swords right now, pain in your life, or trying to move on from past hurts. I don't know. I feel like this person it kind of goes both ways because we have the world here and this is all about coming full circle this is a card of completion 
the bigger picture. It does bring closure and it's all about looking thi looking at things through a larger lens, okay? So this is someone who you used to know from your deep past, but you forgot about them. Um, like you probably haven't seen them in years. Maybe you forgot what they look like. As I said, maybe this is like a teacher you used to have or a really old friend that you had when you were a child. It feels nostalgic, but also karmic as well. We have the Five of Pentacles. This is a card of feeling powerless. It kind of deals with toxic relationships and having to move on from that. It's interesting that we have this and the Three of uh, Swords because both of these cards deal with painful relationships. This more specifically feels like be, um, being left out or left behind, whereas the Three of Swords feeling betrayed or literally like knifed in the back, okay? <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that this person who's going to make contact with you, the purpose for this probably has to do with their pain and them wanting to reach out to find someone to talk to or to help them heal, okay? I think this person, strong theme in this reading so far has to do with healing or with getting over something because we have the Three of Swords as well as maturity, okay? So yeah. Let's see what else is coming through, though, to get more info. All right, we have crystals, <laughs> healing, and Augur, mastery. Yeah, Augur, this is all about the wise teacher, the enlightened guru. Maybe this person, well, I think I already said that they're probably a bit on the older side. People probably see them as weird, offbeat. They've kind of been through a lot, <laughs> especially um, during the time where you forgot about them or where you you didn't know this person. I get that the last time you spoke or saw this person was during a really innocent, like when you were really innocent or unassuming, when you yourself hadn't learned much, okay, like about the world ways of the world so that's why I do think you probably knew this person sometime in your childhood they're gonna be trying to make contact with you this Halloween partly as an effort to help them heal maybe to help heal you too okay here's what I'm getting the reasons why they're gonna um, want to contact you has to do with healing helping them heal or perhaps giving you a lesson of some sort. Okay, for the few of you guys who I said this is an actual angel who's going to be contacting you, it almost feels like you guys know how in a Christmas story there's like the ghost of Christmas past and there's those ghosts who take Scrooge through his past Christmases, through his Christmases to teach him lessons about who he is and who he used to be. It kind of feels like that because we have the devil in the world. This feels super karmic and like you guys are going to be coming full circle. I don't really feel like you're closing out this chapter quite yet, but maybe this person who's going to be contacting you or if this is an angel, um, their purpose for doing so is healing and to teach you something, okay? So yeah, let's take a look at some more cards. Ooh, okay, we have Dawn, <laughs> the light after the darkness. When I saw this, I kind of took it like a breath, like a, um, a sigh of relief. <laughs> this is good news, okay? Maybe this person is the harbinger of good news for you guys on Halloween. And then we also have Lamp, the Lamp Remembrance. Interesting. So yeah, this is someone who you forgot. They're going to help you remember something. Or if this is a spirit or an angel that's contacting you, it's to help you remember something. And through that, to either teach you this lesson, teach you some kind of lesson, or to help you heal. Or both, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of messages that are coming through with this pile. Um, but yeah, their purpose for showing up is to help you remember something. 
Um, for some of you guys, this could be someone, again, from your childhood who you'll re reunite with, pay some homage or remembrance to, if it's like, especially if it is some kind of reunion that you guys have been invited to, if it's like a school reunion or something like that. Um, it feels like you guys are going to be celebrating some kind of remembrance. Again, like you're coming full circle with the world here. It feels like most of you guys who are watching this are already like grown up and you're feeling very nostalgic over certain childhood themes perhaps or memories. We have Dawn here and this is a strong indicator that you guys are at a point where you're ready to move on from something and I think whoever this is who's going to be making contact with you is going to help you um, bring in this new Dawn or this new source of light into your life, okay? So again, like they're going to be, they're going to teach you a lesson, some kind of lesson. I feel like this is the Scrooge pile though, even though this is Halloween we're talking about, it feels like how he makes all those trips to his past Christmases in that one night, you know? It's, it feels like you guys are going to be going a, like full circle here. You're going to be going on a massive spiritual journey within either like on Halloween or in the days leading up to it. You guys are going to be going through like a spiritual self-mastery here. You, you're going to be realizing things that will not only help you heal, but bring you back to precious memories where you didn't have the same kind of problems or this same kind of darkness that slowly made its way into your life, okay? I feel like this person, because I know I said earlier that it seems like they've been through a lot as well. I think this is someone who you have a soul connection with, okay? If this is a person, if it is a spirit or an angel, obviously they're here for a purpose to give you messages and to help you heal, right? Either way, this is going to be a, a very, uh, healing process or healing time for you guys, okay? But it's going to bring up a lot of themes that you experienced during childhood. Okay, and then for your last cards, we have Joker is Wild and we have Maven of Masks. Interesting. This is also master number 44. So again, we're talking about some big completion happening for you guys here. It feels like you guys are moving on to the next stage in your spiritual development, honestly. With the Joker, it's wild. Again, this feels like it's going to bring you back to your childhood, to a time where you were more innocent, you didn't care about serious things, <laughs> honestly, or about, like, you weren't affected by this Three of Swords, Five of Pentacles energies, okay? But yeah, I get with the energies in this pile that whoever is going to be making contact with you is going to be helping to facilitate this healing and help you realize the light that you do have in your life, okay? So the last thing I'll do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute info or clues on who this is and why they're contacting you. Okay, so we have Second House, Pisces, and North Node. Interesting. Okay, so... Pisces is all about spirituality. It's the final sign. So again, I, th I just think that that's a strong theme in your reading is you guys transcending to the next level spiritually. You guys are in a huge healing stage right now. Um, and it's meant to be. We have the North Node here. This is the point of destiny and karma in everyone's chart. So... Yeah, it makes sense that we have the world and the devil here. Strong major arcana energies that deal with those themes of healing and self-evolution, okay? 
And then lastly, second house. So the second house is the house of value, possessions. Again, I think the experience you'll have making contact with whoever this is, if it is a person, an angel, is growth, long-term growth. When I think of the second house, I think of long-term, very foundational uh, things in, in our life. So yeah, it might also help you value, again, things that you had forgotten or things that you hadn't quite realized about yourself and help you heal, okay? So yeah, these are the main things I am receiving for this pile. So I will leave it at that for now. I'm sorry if it was a bit all over the place. There's just a lot of stuff for this pile, clearly. But I hope it made sense. If you did like it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up comment or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day wherever you're at. Stay awesome and I will see you guys later.